last week's Torah reading, Parshat Kedoshim, which uh, means that it's basically a biblical command that you shall be holy, you shall become holy people, contains a very, very fascinating mitzvah, commandment, and this is on um, chapter 19, verse 18. Lotikon velotitor et b'nei You may not take revenge or bear a grudge against the people of your nation, fellow Jews. V'yahavta l'reicha kamocha. And you shall love your friend as yourself. Ani Hashem, I am God. It's very interesting because this concept of loving your neighbor as yourself, um, many people believe that this originates with Christianity. I was one, one time giving guest classes at the uh, University of uh, Phoenix, and uh, the, uh, everybody in the class was not Jewish, there was no Jews in the class, and uh, it had to do with ancient literature, and they, they, they studied the Bible, and, and that's why the professor who knew me brought me in. And I asked them, which religion teaches that you should love your friend as yourself? Everybody raised their hands and said Christianity. So I took out the text they were using, which did contain the five books of Moses, and I pointed to this place, and I asked somebody to read it. I said, excuse me, I think that's a little bit of religious appropriation. This comes from Judaism. But of course, it, it leads to great questions. And that is, it seems to be something which is impossible. How can you be commanded to love everyone, or your friends, as yourself? Uh, love is basically an emotion. I mean, how many people can a person love in this life? There are certain people that you love, certain people you're indifferent, some be people you don't like altogether. So how is the Torah commanding you to, to love everybody? And, and, and again, as yourself? I think most people, uh, they love themselves most. I mean, there may be some that are very close to them, their own children, spouse, that they may love as much as they love themselves. But here it's saying everyone, even a total stranger. So we have to try to understand this. If you read the commentators, uh, the classical philosophers, such as the, the Rambam, it really means to say that you have to treat, it has to do with your behavior, how you regard your fellow man and woman. And, and that is that you should not think that you have special rights, that you're different, that you're unique. Your honor is important. Your property is important. Uh, nobody has a right to hurt you in any way. Well, whatever the rights are that you claim for yourself, you have to extend them to other people. They have the same rights you have. You can't be disrespectful of somebody else. You can't insult somebody else. You can't be um, neglectful in terms of his property and his money and so on and so forth. And uh, that's a very, very important teaching because it means to say that the rights that we claim for ourselves, where do they come from? Oh, they come from from God, because God created us and God endowed us with a divine soul. That's what makes us unique and special. Uh, whoever, whoever mistreats someone is really denying the fact that he's a creation of God. Well, the same is true with regard to everybody else besides yourself. They're no different. They too reflect the creator. They too were created in the image of God. And if you negate them, if you mistreat them, so then you're negating the will of the creator of the universe. If you love God, then you have to love his creations. You have to love your fellow, this is specifically talking about uh, Rehem, your friends, means fellow Jews, because we're all in the same situation. We're all part of one nation. And it's, as you can see throughout history, we're a despised nation, we're a hated nation. So therefore, each Jew has to reinforce his fellow Jew. This should apply to all decent humans. I'm not making the claim that uh, there are no other decent people in the world. Not, not the case. There's righteous. We have this concept of righteous Gentile. That's someone who believes in the Creator and who seeks to perfect himself, to observe the laws, the, the seven Noahide laws, the basic laws which should govern civilization. In addition, we have the 613 commandments. So all of our fellow men, I'm not talking about wicked people, that's a different category. Uh, because it also says that those who love God hate evil. There is a place for hatred as well, okay? But then we're talking about like Hitler or Nazis and so on and so forth, people who corrupt the divine image. They no longer reflect the creator of the universe. But with regard to all decent people, even if we don't like them. Uh, the, you can't force yourself to love them. 
you know, everybody has their own taste. You like certain kinds of people, you dislike others. But as I always said, you're not commanded to like your fellow man. You're commanded to love him.